Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Help. Guys, this is the tutorial for Java FX. So in this tutorial, I will tell you about the pagination control and I will tell you about some useful properties so that you can use in your project as well. Before starting guys, I have a request. If you think this video is useful for you, so please like this video and share with your friends as well. And guys, please subscribe my channel and press this notification bell icon so you will get latest video updates ASAP. And uh, now I'm going to start. So guys, this is the uh, theme builder and uh, we have uh, this pagination control on the anchor pen. I will describe you uh, about the properties that uh, we, we need to use uh, while we are uh, using this pagination control in our JavaFX project. So I have prepared a descriptive diagram. So I will explain you guys with the help of this pagination control diagram. Okay guys, as you can see on my screen, uh, there is a pagination control. So here you can see there are square boxes like on which uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have these kind of numbering on these buttons. So all these buttons are called pagination indicator. Okay, guys. So these buttons are pagination indicator. So every time when you click on this button, so the corresponding page will appear. Okay. If you have any content on that, that will be displayed on the stage. So we have a numbering on these buttons. Okay. And uh, there is a maximum limit of uh, uh, these uh, buttons. So I will uh, show you in the FXML. Okay. I will show you inside the scene builder scene builder and every time when you press this button okay so that button will uh, change the color and it will become blue okay so that is called selected page indicator and the complete area from this left arrow to this right arrow is called the page navigation area okay and these are the navigation button you can say if you move from a previous page Okay, so you have to click on this left arrow. So you will be moved to the previous page. And if you want to move forward, so you guys have to click here on the next page button. Okay. And guys, there is a selected page label. You can see uh, on the left hand side, that means the page two is selected. You can see here in the diagram. So here the page two, uh, which is selected and uh, the Indicator page indicator is, is blue right now. So you will have uh, uh, the number of that page on left hand side uh, in this area. And uh, after the slash, you can see the maximum number of pages for the uh, pagination control. Okay. So that can also be set inside the scene builder. Okay. I will explain you about these properties in the uh, scene builder as well. Okay, guys, I hope this is clear to you. Now I am moving inside the scene builder. So guys, this is the scene builder and we have this pagination control on the anchor pan. You can see uh, the first page is selected. Now I am uh, I will show you about the properties. Now come here on the uh, properties uh, menus on the right hand side. You can see uh, the maximum page in does it mean guys you can see on the screen you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten pages between these two arrows okay so right now only 10 page will be displayed if you are setting max page indicator 10 that means you are dis displaying only 10 uh, page indicators now I am going to change it so I will show you what will happen I'm going to set it to five press enter you can see here now it is changed and uh, we are able to see only five page indicators so you can set the range of the page indicator you can uh, control how many uh, page indicators or these buttons you want to display okay I hope this property is clear to you okay now come here on the second property you can see the page count 
सो गाइस पेज काउंट मींस राइट नाउ वी हैव दिस राइट एरो बटन ओके सो वेन यू क्लिक ऑन दिस बटन यू विल बी मूव्ड टू द नेक्स्ट पेज ओके लेट मी शो यू वन थिंग लेट मी शो यू द प्रीव्यू ऑफ दिस यू कैन सी सो आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड बटन यू कैन सी नाउ वी रीच ऑन द टेन वंस यू रीच ऑन द टेन यू विल क्लिक द राइट नेविगेशन सो एन अदर टेन पेजेस विल बी लोडेड इन साइड दिस ओके यू कैन सी वी आर ऑन द इलेवन ट्वेल्थ एंड इट्स कीप गोइंग इट्स कीप गोइंग अप टू द मैक्सिमम लिमिट एंड दैट मैक्सिमम लिमिट इज डिफाइंड at this place this is the page count uh, so guys uh, the pagination indicators maximum limit is defined here okay this is called page count if you want to set only 10 pages so you can restrict by putting value 10 here in the page count field now you can see so uh, let me run this you can see you can observe here this is a uh, one that means we are uh, on first page and maximum value is 10 so we have 10 pages only now let me show you in the preview you can see so you are keep moving from 7 8 9 10 once you reach on that 10 you can see your right navigation button will be displayed that means no one can move further so page count restricting your page indicator okay so you can restrict like this way or uh, suppose you want 50 pages so you can place value 50 inside the page count now you will have uh, the 50 page indicators and you can move up to 50 pages okay now you can see 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 20 20 and so on 31 41 and you can see this is the 50 so guys this is the useful thing you can restrict uh how much pages you want so you can uh, do with this page count properties okay guys right now uh this is the current page indicator so you can set the current page suppose uh at time of initialization you want to set your page indicator at 5 so you can give the value 5 here and you can see your page indicator will be set from 0 yeah 0 1 2 3 4 position and if you want to set your indicator on 5th so you have to place n minus 1 so you will see the position it just like a just like an array so array index is start from zero in the same way here the index is starting from zero so if you want to set your a page indicator at five, fifth position then you have to give 5 minus 1 that means you have to give the value 4 here in the current page indicator property so guys these are the useful properties with the help of this you can use uh this page indicator there's a uh, pagination control in your java fx application and uh, i will describe the use of this i will show you the implementation of this uh, pagination control uh, inside the java fx application in my second video so guys uh please like this video and share with your your friends as well and so guys uh, i hope you are clear with this uh, pagination control and if you have any doubts so please comment i will try my best to reply as soon as possible and uh, don't forget to watch the uh, don't forget to watch my second video on pagination control there i will explain you the implementation of pagination control so guys keep watching cool it help till then bye bye